as many children in Uganda trek distances to access learning centers across the country, many children in Arua City are seen on the roads moving in groups as early as 6 a.m. for those who are unable to afford the cost of paying for border border services across the city. However, some of the children have been subjected to several risks, especially for those who use border borders for transport. Joan Sara, a mother who is seen as early as 6 a.m. with her children waiting for the van to pick them up, explained why she preferred a school van to border borders in the city. Border border may be cheaper, but the life of the children is not, it's, it's not uh, something that actually care about more than the experience. Because if you pay less and at the end of the day you lose your child, you make sure that the children have got to the school and also be sure we see them back home. And the border border sometimes you start following them from morning and you start to continue following them until they bring the children back, which is not safe. And also the, the traffic is there is too high and border borders will not be safe for the children to come. It is visible on camera that many parents and border borders tend to undervalue the health of children, especially during rainy seasons, as many children are seen on border border being taken to school. When we spoke to some of the border borders, they had this to say. There are some small kids who cannot sit behind comfortable. That is the reason why we are putting them in front, for them to hold properly and not over speed with them. Like most of the borders, they do ride at a low, low speed when they are carrying a kid. Not that everybody border is doing that. So on my side, I have a lot of kids to carry. But they have in different times. Eh? I can't carry them all at the same time. But right now, this is the only kid I'm carrying. I'll first take home and then I'll come for the other one. The other one is 12.30. After dropping the first one, I come back and then pick the other one. They all have in different times. Supposed to ride like when you are carrying a kid, you are, you are supposed to ride at a, at a very low speed. If you ride at a high speed, when when like you get some like when you get some incidents like that, you cannot even control. However, some of the schools we visited had this to say on the safety of the children across the city. It is the preference of the of the parents. It's not mandatory for parents to use uh, the, the, the means of transport. But one good advantage of it is that, especially during rainy season, the children are safer coming to school. Uh, it's rare the children who are using buses miss coming to school during rainy season. Uh, that's one great advantage. It's over speeding. Because now they have other children in other schools. They have to hurry. At the end, they over speed, which can cause uh, a lot of problems for the children. Samson Andama, the head teacher of Golden Treasure Nursery and Primary School, however, is concerned of some border borders who transport the children when they are drunk. Then the other thing I once also witnessed in our school is some border borders, they come while drunk, which is also making us in problems with them. Of course, when a drunkard person comes like that, we we'll just need the child, even when the time is not uh, at all. One other encouragement I will have, okay, especially on the risk of health, is that first of all, these children are coming from various places. Now at school, there's a, the, most schools have a, a high infection of uh, cough in most schools. So the moment that you have, you, you bring two or three children together, increase chances of spreading this and two it may not necessarily come from the come from the from the children themselves mm. i think it's hard time the parents begin to understand that the health of barabada also matters a lot mm -hmm. you may have a kind of barabada who might have some of the infectious maybe diseases that can uh, pass from one person to another those kind of situations a child is put in front a barabada is riding and the wind that is also blowing this all have a lot of uh, other implications of health. Many times across the country, school children have been involved in accidents in the hands of motorcyclists as a result of overspeeding and recklessness and due to fear of high expenses in transporting the children to schools in school vans.
In the year 2020, Uganda Police Force annual crime report indicates that there was 4.7% reduction in the number of traffic accidents reported in the year projecting a figure of 12,858 road accidents reported in 2019 to 12,249 accidents reported in the year 2020. Jura Joseph, reporting for West Nile TV.